Get your wand, dip it in. To blow small bubbles, you hold the wand close to your mouth and blow. Yes. To blow big bubbles, you dip your wand, hold it a bit further away and blow. And you can catch the bubble. Let's see how big I can blow it. Bubbles will, dry, will pop on anything dry, so your plate has to be wet. And the easiest way to do that is to pour your liquid all over the plate, then just simply pour it back in. And that is your plate all covered. Do you want to do the same, Holly? Whoa! <laughs> you pour it back in. <laughs> there we go. Right now, so we've got our plate. We can get our straw. Let's start with our our big straw. So we dip it in. You can use your plate. We're just going to blow a bubble. See how big you can blow it. Maybe blow two bubbles on the same plate. Oh, so they're touching each other. Oh, it joins. Oh, now we can blow lots of little bubbles next to each other. It makes a beehive effect. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's put them off. Okay, now, can you make a caterpillar? So we're going to try and make a chain of bubbles on our plane. My bubble caterpillar. Wibbly wobbly. Oh, let's have a look at yours, Holly. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yours have got eyes. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> Using foam is also a good way for younger kids to be able to blow bubbles on a plate. Because sometimes when they're a bit younger, they find it harder to blow the bubbles on the plate and you know dipping the one make sure making sure it's all wet etc so if we blow foam onto the plate first <laughs> like that we can then just blow bubbles with our using our straw straight into the foam and this is a real easy way for younger kids to blow bubbles
going to show you how to make bubble sculptures. So for this, we're going to dip our wand. I'm also going to dip our straw. Just make sure that it's properly dipped. About halfway, three quarters of the way. So we've got a dipped wand, dipped straw. And we're going to blow a bubble onto the wand with our straw. So we'll hold the, the wand, the straw, about like here, and we we'll blow. Ooh! <gasps> Mine went on top! So I want it to hang from the bottom. <gasps> Yay, we did it! Oh. <laughs> now, can you get another bubble to stick to this bubble to make a bubble snowman? So hold the straw about here again. Like that. <gasps> Yay, we did it! Our bubble snowman! Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Now, can we challenge ourselves a little bit more and blow another bubble onto that? I just literally took off it. <laughs> and another one. And maybe another one. Maybe another one? Oh. How many can I get on there? Come on. inside a bubble. First of all we're going to do it on the plate which should be the easier version. Before we start we're going to wet our plate fully like we did in the previous video and we're going to wet the straw about three quarters of the way up and that's so our straw doesn't pop the bubble as we stick it into the bubble to make another bubble. We're going to blow a bubble onto the plate, just a medium sized bubble And then we're going to stick our straw into the middle of this bubble and blow another bubble. And we're going to keep doing that until we have lots of bubbles inside a bubble. See how many you can get. Ooh, let's start again. It's three. Ooh, they pop out quite quickly. You have to count them quickly. No, three. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> inside a bubble is using a wand and a straw. Now 
nice big one this time and using a straw to make sure there's no liquid in the end I'm going to blow short sharp puffs of air into this bubble to make bubbles inside a bubble I'm going to hold my straw you can see just about here Beautiful. I can even just use my breath. If you're struggling with this one, and a lot of people do, it is something you need to practice at. This is a good way to practice if you're struggling. Get a wand, get the straw that you're going to be blowing with, dip the wand. You have now a bubble film that you can practice which is a lot easier than making the bubble every time so you hold the straw next to the bubble film like so and short sharp puffs of air like so that is all you're doing with the big bubble so practice like that let's have a little practice <laughs> Watch me, Holly. Watch me for a moment. Right, you're going. Ready? Watch me. Like that. That's, that's it. Right, that's what you want to do. Ready? Blow the bubble. Here we go. You got one. Yes. Yes! Give me five! <laughs> this activity, we're going to blow a bubble through another bubble. So for this, we're going to need a straw. I'm going to dip it three quarters of the way so it's nice and wet so it won't pop our bubble when we insert it into the bubble. You're going to get your wand. You can have a dip. And for this, I'm going to use my sm I'm going to use my big straw to make the bubble, and my small straw to blow through the bubble. So, on your wand, blow a bubble. On a nice size bubble, and then with my small straw, I'm going to blow out. So I've got no liquid in my straw, and then I'm going to put my straw through the bubble. And hold it about here, three quarters of the way in, and then I'm going to blow the back wall of the bubble to make bubbles. Using those short, sharp puffs of air like I did when I was making bubbles inside <laughs> bubbles. And there we have it. You can blow the whole bubble out. Oh, Holly's going to have a go now. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's flip it a little bit of it. Let's flip. Now. Go in, don't you? Right, that's it. There. Now blow. <gasps> yes! <laughs> well done. Right, I think it's bubble 
Mountain time. Mountain race time. We're gonna use the. Water. Don't turn it yet. We've got One a timer. Minute oh. timer. Right. When wait. 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 It? Wait. 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 We're not ready yet. <laughs> I'm flipping it. I'm flipping it. You can flip it when we're ready. I've got my Dip foamer. Dip it. So the aim of the game is the winner is who's got the highest ma mountain. bubble mountain yeah. at the when that time it ends. No, there's no there's no prizes. <laughs> <laughs> I the prize is having fun it. making bubbles. Okay, you're gonna have to give me a countdown. So three, five, oh five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Activity is to make a bubble cube and there's two ways of doing this first on a plate second on a wand so first I'm going to show you how to do it on a plate so we make four equal size bubbles onto your plate into a little cluster and for this demonstration I am going to use my fogger so you can see clearly at home on the video you put your straw into the middle of the cluster and blow another bubble the same size and you will see a cube shaped bubble appear. Ah, yes! And um, bop! <laughs> using your straw and your wand. So we're going to dip both and we're going to make a bubble snowman. And then we're going to make four equal sized bubbles around the seam of the snowman. like so. And for this demonstration I'm going to use my fogger so you can see very clearly what's happening. So you'd be using your straw here, you would have another dip for your straw and you'd place it into the middle of that cluster where you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, you can see a square shaped bubble. We're going to make it a 3D. So there is your cube shaped bubble. And then we can all, always pop these bubbles. Was it really a cube? Or was it round again? You make a bubble snowman. And then you make four equal sized bubbles around the seam of that snowman. There has to be four. 
if you want it to be a cube. And then you dip your straw and you put your I straw. See. Yeah, you can see the square, can't you? You can see a square shape in there. And to make that 3D into a cube, you need to dip middle. your wand and you stick your straw into the middle and then you blow another bubble in. <gasps> can you see the cube? Or I'm going to show that. Bubble! <laughs> spaceship. For this I'm going to need my little wand and I'm going to use two different sized straws, one slightly thicker and one slightly smaller. Just for ease, when, you, when you're first starting it's easier to use the two different kind um, size straws. Um, as you get a bit more practice you could just use one, one size but to start with I would definitely recommend using two. So we're going to dip everything we need and with the straws we're going to make sure that they're properly wet and dipped about three quarters of the way so when we insert the um, straw into our bubble we're not going to pop it so let's get the wand have a dip we're going to make the bubble snowman two equal size bubbles and then with your smaller straw we're going to make a, sh a string of pearls around the seam of the bubble snowman. Like so. And then for the demonstration and the video, I'm going to use my bubble fogger just so you can see this part more clearly on the video. But for you at home, you're gonna use your straw. We're gonna put the straw into the center of the bubble, at the, the join of the bubble, and we're gonna blow a bubble inside. And when you blow your straw out, then you can blow along the side of the bubble, just along here, and it will spin the bubble spaceship. the spaceship on a plate to make it a little bit easier and have a practice. She made two bubbles the same size. And with your smaller straw. This 
Now I'm going to show you how to bounce a bubble. There's two ways of doing this. One is off fabric, like your clothes, um, and the second one is off a bubble film from the wand. So first I'm going to show you how to do it on your clothes. So dip a wand, make smallish bubbles. Another way to bounce the bubbles is by using a wand. Even with these tiny ones, we can do this. We're going to use a small straw and our small wand. We're going to dip the wand and use a straw to blow a teeny weeny bubble. You can use any size hoop for this. Actually, the bigger hoop you've got, the easier it will be. Let me show you with a medium sized hoop here. <clears throat> Boing. 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 And even bigger. <laughs> Boing. 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 bubble. We're going to use a wand and two straws again. Dip your wand, dip your straws. Make a small bubble about that size. Then get your smaller wand, have a dip and then you're going to put your what your straw, you're going to place it about here. Touching the bubble and touching the wand and you're going to blow a steady stream of bubbles to make the beehive effect. Oh, it went like that one. Oh, okay. I love it. <sighs> and there we have it, our beehive bubble. And we can even stick our straw into the beehive and release the bees. Release the bees. Well, it's a bit. Whoa, that's a massive bee. <laughs> Release the bees. Release the bees. <laughs> if you're struggling with that, there is a cheap way of doing it. Dip your dip your wand. Release the bees. Make a bubble. And instead of um, blowing the steady stream of bubbles, which that can be a little bit tricky and take a bit of practice, you can just blow bubbles onto the onto the bubble. Does it look like a dragon? It egg? takes a yeah. It does look like a dragon egg, doesn't it? Or a nest. Or a dinosaur egg. A nest. And Just taking a bit longer to make the bubble like this. Oh no! 
a square. Can you blow a look? You see oh, yeah, there's all sorts of... Maybe you can blow a there's square in it. There's all sorts of shapes in this bubble. Maybe try to... Do you want me to blow some fog inside? No. I'm going to see what shape is in there. Oh, there's... Wow! <laughs> this is like a football, really. <gasps> that looks like a diamond. Wow, it does look like a diamond. <gasps> oh, it's magical. Magical! <laughs>